guys, you're watching Kate Straight Up and I'm your host, Caitlin. And today I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely delicious chocolate lava cake in a pressure cooker. And guess what? This recipe, it couldn't be freaking easier. So if you're impressing a date this Christmas season or a husband, significant other, a best friend, an in-law, a mom, pretty much anyone that you want to think you're freaking awesome, go ahead and make them this delicious homemade chocolate lava cake. So if you don't have one of these instant pot cookers or a pressure cooker at home, I highly suggest you go get one. I'm not just saying that. I love my Kasori cooker. I cook chicken in it, I cook vegetables, I cook rice, everything under the sun. It just speeds up the process sometimes and it's awesome. The food is really truly delicious that comes out of it. He kind of looks like a robot. I feel like he talks to me. He's like a C2P2, Kasori the pressure cooker. I don't know, never mind. Whatever, but the best part is, is that if you are a baking amateur like me, you could set it and forget it and your little partner over here is gonna take care of the rest. So we are getting started with half of a cup of some milk chocolate chips. I have Toll House here and we have four tablespoons of some room temperature butter or margarine that we're just gonna scoop in. So then this next part is a little bit different than you might do in some other baking recipes, but you're actually going to microwave this for about 20 seconds to 30 seconds. So you're just going to start blending together your six tablespoons of your flour, your one cup of that chocolate that you melted together with your full stick of butter and just kind of blend it together so you start to get a batter type looking thing going on in your bowl. After that, you're adding one cup of confectioner sugar. So powdery, so funny. Just kind of give it a nice blend as well. And then the last ingredient that we're adding before we pour it into our dishes to go into our pressure cooker is three whole eggs. You're just gonna add that in, keep on blending. There's no reason to take out any heavy mixers or anything like that. Just keep on blending and this dough will get where you want it to be. After you get your batter nice and blended, you're then gonna spray some cooking oil into your ramkins or whatever dish you're using. You can use those nice little foil dishes as well, anything small in size, and you're just gonna wanna make sure that they're nice and oiled. You wanna be able to dump over these after they're cooked and dump your lava cake right out. So you're just gonna wanna fill up your ramkins and you're just gonna try to get it in as nicely as possible. You wanna fill them about three quarters of the way up. So not all the way to the top, a little bit more than three quarters actually as close to the top as you can go just right in there and then we're ready for our pressure cooker now it's time to get your chocolate lava cakes into your pressure cooker so you're going to make sure that your interior cooking bowl is in and then you're going to add one cup of water after that you're going to place in your ramkins and you have to kind of maneuver them a little bit so that they all can fit. If you have more, go ahead and just stack them up. Once we got our ramkins inside, we're gonna secure our lid, make sure it's locked, and make sure our pressure valve is locked as well. We are gonna cook these delicious molten chocolate lava cakes on manual high for about nine minutes. So again, you just wanna make sure that your cook time is right and that your pressure temperature is right. That's very important when cooking with a pressure cooker. So go ahead and just make sure that it's all set. If you have a kasori like me, it's gonna do this little thing where it jigger jaggers for a little bit and then it will let you know once it's ready to go. And after those nine minutes in our pressure cook, we're then gonna do a nice quick release and we have a beautiful chocolate molten lava cake that if we nicely greased our ramkins, we should be able to just dump right out onto a plate. Now, I don't have any vanilla ice cream on me, but if I had some, it would look pretty freaking fantastic right on top of this because watch and weep. Oh my God. Yes, I'm for real. Yes, we just made that. And yes, this takes freaking, oh, it's gonna be really hot. Oh my God. Are you gonna see that? 
you are going to love it. Make sure to subscribe to Kate Shit Up for more fun recipes like this one every Tuesday. Find us on Instagram. Make yourself this lava cake because it is to die for. You will impress anybody you make it for. I'm dying right now eating it. It's so freaking fabulous. I love you guys. Come back next time and I will see you then. Bye-bye.